Hi all, my name is Renita Marshall Martin. I'm a fourth grade teacher and today I am going to give you a quick glimpse of my Google Classroom. What I really like about this first screen that Google, that Google Classroom has is that there's a menu here that gives you a quick access to your Google Calendar, your to-do list, any tasks or assignments that need to be graded, and then you can also access your Google Classroom here or you can access it by clicking on your name. Here is my stream and First things first, my classroom expectations are set here for students of how I would like for them to collaborate and learn online. If you keep scrolling, you'll see my days and times that I'm available for students and then a link for class for class websites that students usually use on a daily basis like their Clever Portal or Spelling City or Reflex Math and things of that nature. Also on the stream, our assignments that I post, any materials that I post for students, articles, links, any discussion board questions that you also might post will be here on your stream for students to use. And then if it's a discussion question, they'll be discussing on their stream as well. If I take a look at my classwork tab, you'll notice that I have all of my assignments organized by content area. So this is uh, my math topic. So my math is connected to Pearson 2.0 and Clever Portal. So when I assign assignments in the Clever Portal, Pearson 2.0, it automatically populates to their Google Classroom. And then once they complete assignments there, then it automatically populates to the grade section here. So here I have a topic that is specific for ELA resources. So these are things that students would use often. So they stay here, for instance, um, anchor charts, any links that students might use, any articles or tutorial videos that students might constantly refer to can be used and housed here. And then as we transition into distant learning, I am going to organize all of my content by online weeks. So here I'll have their learning objectives, as well as all of their assignments for Monday through Friday, as well as any tutorial videos, podcasts, uh, links to any Zoom or Google Meet sections will also be here for students to use. Thank you for taking a quick look with me at my Google Classroom. Be well.